what's up people it's your boy isaac the artist i'm back once some more with the tutorial today we're gonna make this guy yep that's how it's gonna look at the end with some texture of my own that i made i used a key shot on this one you can use any render of your choice red shaped corona anything this is how the 3d models gonna look at the end you see it's nice it's simple it's easy it's smooth it's fresh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you guys don't forget to subscribe hit the like button share the video you know the drill you know the drill drop some comments in the section okay let's do this now we're gonna drop a cylinder cylinder okay just gonna look at the <clears throat> height segments and B and B on the keyboard to see the lines reduce the segments the height segments to one okay what to do what to do Let's look at the radius first. Mm, 10. Ooh, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, the height. Let's see. You know what? It's going to feel like I'm going to eyeball this. Won't really pay much attention to the scales. Uh, it's going to look weird. Uh, I'll crank this up the height. Mm -hmm. mm hmm yeah be like this one will do yeah this looks looks all right press c on the keyboard press c on the keyboard to convert this c on the keyboard mm, and now we're gonna go to the polygon mode selection tool select at the top ah the scale tool okay we zip, 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 scale this on the x on the x Scale it in, scale it in. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. That will do. Slip it right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to stretch this on the Z as well to get that that nice shape at the top there. Scale again on the Z. Uh, hmm. Okay. Just move it up a bit there. The top looks looks decent. Okay, uh, select the polygons at the bottom. Press I on the keyboard. Drag in, drag in. Press I, drag in. Then press D. Extrude out. Then I. Extrude in. Perfect. KL on the keyboard for that loop path cut. Place KL is the shortcut. Put one loop cut there. Mm -hmm. Put that in a subdivision. Ooh, I have to make some cut loop at the top. KL on the keyboard. KL on the keyboard. Make some loop cuts there. One, two. Ah, okay. It looks good, it looks good, it looks good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Press N A. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got something. We got something. We got something. Mm-hmm. It looks smooth, man. It looks smooth. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. Okay, now let's make the lid. Uh we're gonna use a cylinder on this one. So we're just gonna eyeball the scale of this looking at our first mesh and mm, B to see the lines you gotta reduce the height segment to one scale it down at this point don't hit the C yet to convert it just scale as a primitive move it down and just try to find the right scale hmm this looks funny. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> My bad. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Yep. Yep. This is the one. Yeah. Mm, this looks good. This looks good. Okay, we almost there. We are almost there. Okay. I feel like this is a perfect fit perfect size mm. 
I'm gonna solo this out. There's an icon there at the top. You solo this out. Just wanna work on it. Press C. Press C to convert it. KL on the keyboard. Use shortcuts. They are the best. They will save you some time. Just press KL on the keyboard. Uh, okay. Uh, just gonna make select symmetrical cuts. You have to select symmetrical cut. Then you bang those look at. Then you unselect your symmetrical cut. You make the loop at the top. Uh huh. Just rename your mesh. Put everything in a null. Then put the null under the subdivision. So face is gonna look funny because we selected the solo option. Select it. Then everything will appear the way that you want it. I should scale this a bit, scale it a bit. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Press NA on the keyboard. NA to change your view mode. Uh, there's some funny things there. Uh, this near good. Well, there are a few ways of doing this. Select that loop right there. You slide it, you move it up, you move it up, slide it, or you can cramp, you can crank the subdivision surface. Now I think I'm on two, but it doesn't matter. In this case, I'm just gonna move the that line up. Yes, that looks selection. It looks ooh, looks smooth. Looks good. I gotta make another loop cut. Mm -hmm. I'm going to select this, press I on the keyboard, then you extrude in, extrude in, okay, 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 looks good, mm -hmm. what, no, 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 select that loop, move that loop in, slide it in, Slide that loop in. That's more like it. That's more like it. Yes. See now? We're almost there. We are almost there. It's done. Crank the subdivision. Now it looks smoother. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. We just need one tiny thing there at the top the top for that we're gonna use a cylinder just uh, find the right size find the right size find the right size okay move it up 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 uh -huh. I'm just gonna eyeball this just gonna eyeball this bang 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 Okay, 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 no, 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 move it on, wait, looks funny, no, 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 think, think I have to move this up, think I have to, yes, I have to move this up, yeah, mm-hmm, I knew it, see now, okay, I look out there, just to make sure, it's laid there at the top, why do I have a feeling it's not working? Come on, man, you have to work. Am I overthinking? Maybe no, I'm not overthinking. I have to move these up. Yes, perfect, perfect. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm See, it looks good. Looks good. And B, okay, I need to add some segments that I can use to extrude. I have to make some lines. No, 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 X, no, Y, the Z, the Z, see? Segments on the Z, segments on the Z, crank them, crank them, crank them up. And, hmm, 28, 28 looks okay 28 looks okay hit c 
hit C to convert it. You then hit UL on the keyboard. Select the ring around it. Then I'll select this side and that side. Okay, make sure only those two opposite sides are selected. What to do here? Okay, uh, I feel like I have to extrude. No, 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 no. I feel like no, 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 no. What am I doing? I think in a extrude, then I have extrude out, right? Wait, wait. Mm, hit I in a extrude. Make sure you unselect the preserved groups so they can be individual. Then you extrude out. You press I. You extrude inner, preserve groups and select. You'll get here. Then you hit D for extrude. No, no, no. Again, I extrude inner to have that sharp corner. Okay, it looks good. It just needs some two loops to even things out. KL select symmetrical cut. Make sure you select symmetrical cut so that you have like equal distance in the cuts on both sides, top and bottom. I think that one cut will do. Ooh, yep, 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 yep. We did it, we did it, we did it. Press NA on the keyboard to see the whole thing. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You've seen now it's done, it's easy. You just have to pay attention to the loop cuts. I feel like that's the tool that we use the most today. Yes, the tool cut, the inner extrude, and the outer extrude as well. That's the most used tools on this one. From here, you can. You can go insane, man. You can try to change things up. Let's export these to Keyshot and render this out. These out. You can at this point you can use any render of your choice. I'm going with Keyshot. Why? Because Keyshot it's simple. I don't have to adjust the lights and all that. So I'm just gonna select my model. <coughs> Step to ground. Okay. 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 It looks okay. So what's next? I need to add an environment. Okay, let me rotate. Just want to see something. Okay, the mesh it's okay. Click environments on my left to there. On my left, environments interior. I'm just gonna use any other HDRI. Doesn't really matter. They're all gonna do the same thing. Okay, I'm just gonna go with these gold lighting on my right. Select product. Environment again on my left. Down there, ground reflections. Background, I'm gonna need a color for that. Background, I'm gonna need a color. I'm just gonna need a color, 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 color. Ooh, like this green. It looks good. Now again on my left, materials plastic I'm gonna go hard something shiny I'm gonna go for something shiny okay not red black hard shiny plastic yes you drag you drop on your model mm. see it looks nice already you know already it looks okay I didn't do much on the lightning just drop your hdri that's why i love keisha that's why it's one of the best in the game okay i'm just gonna use a hard plastic rough plastic at the lid there the bottom it looks okay but i feel like i should add some graphics of my own just go nuts let's go nuts okay i'm just gonna go with uh which material to start with first uh, the main mesh yes go to texture diffuse i made this by myself using photoshop it's easy you just go nuts and just paint things okay just as the diffuse also use that material on your bump 
let's add some graphics again on the rough material something different mm. some graffiti yeah it looks good man looks insane look good you see that's key shot for me man key shot gets gets the job done all the time you don't have to worry about adjusting lights at this point use any material that you like make your own graphics you know if you have labels i just want to show you how to model one of these how easily it is use the tools in cinema 4d rendering it's a choice you choose any engine that you like see i'm just gonna render this ah okay guys we almost there thank you for watching as the artist i'm also on instagram uh hit the, the hit, hit the subscribe button guys hit the button suggest more tutorials what it is that you want any question regarding key shot you know cinema 4d modeling all that i'm here man just subscribe share with your friends so this is how it looks at the end i've rendered it quickly made posts so this is how it's gonna look man from here it's up to you what render engine you use it doesn't really matter man as long as it gets job done for you that's it okay as an artist i'm out